All right. Bridge Lake. I like this map. It's fun. Teutons as well. Easy. These Turks, though. Only people who still have access to pup are qualified players. I saw the Muslim was playing pup earlier today. So I think more people have access to it, but ranked is deactivated. That's one thing that is for sure. Okay, gotta do the horse color and Putin, so I need to maximize the farming. Sure. And it will play online? No. There will be no online. Not my dear. Really? Is it that far away? That's crazy. Putin should be pretty solid on this map, considering the horse color situation. Secure this area, then we have farming there as well. Oh, I didn't do horse color. Good. Oh, he's going to scout. Probably end up losing this or not? I guess not. Oh, look at that. What? That was too slow. It's going scouts, that surprised me. Interesting mid location. Thanks. Thanks. Or is that a compliment? I'm weird. How about the other scout come and join in? I don't like how much of the defensive I've been put on. We do have defensive spears now. Defensive spear. Correction. That was nice. Keck, he was trying to quick wall. We've all been there, son. He did go dark. He did go dark. Does he have a demo coming? A bit, a bit worried about the demo. Oh, that was a horrible fight by me. He does have a demo, for sure. I'll go for the more farming a heavy approach, though. Bit sloppy. Wasteful. Yes. Is Turk Scout better than yours right now? If he has Bloodlands, yes. I actually never checked that. Something we should have checked. He did have bloodlines, so yes, his scouts were definitely better. Don't do a bit of a delayed bloodlines then. Still try to get damage in. Unless he's fully walled. Might not work. Actually, maybe I should not do more scouts even. Big chance there is no more units coming from him. I'm going way too heavy on gold, uh, on food. 
Cavages, he might go for. That could be a problem. But yeah, he is fully walled, I think. Go triple stable, because why not? I will never be housed. Yeah, he's fully walled. The he also only has bloodlines. Probably is an indicator of... Cavalchers. I don't know if he saw my third stable though. I can hope he didn't. But yeah, his scouts were better. He, they would have been better than me in ranged fights because he has extra ranged armor for free. I don't have that. But besides that, our scouts was were completely normal at that stage. And I guess if he doesn't have scouts anymore, we can. Go here and attack his fishies. Pathing. Beautiful. I don't know if it's couchers. Stone walls. Oh, it's Janissarius. Fascinating, as Jordan would say. Should I go fast imp? Cavalier? Imagine that. realized wait can i do this okay. almost didn't have the required wood polar bears attack he's mixing in some knights himself I usually never go uh, this amount of uh, stables because I'm of the opinion that it's unlikely that you can ever maintain production from three stables for a prolonged period. Hence, triple stable is al almost always overkill. No Teutons. That's actually bad. It's making a lot of demos. That's a bad fight. Also fairly heavy on stone because I believe that it is likely that I will have to defend a forward castle at some point. Whoa! Didn't think he had that amount of Janice out already. In the market. I have so many knights, but they're so low HP. Not sure if that's a good trade.
works. At least I will never be housed this game. Bam. Right, time has come. That's the Ford Castle. I wasn't expecting it to be there already. Should be an amazing fight for us. I don't like the amount of relics I don't see on the map. That much I will admit. Oh, I don't have bloodlines! Oh my god! How did I not notice? I thought I did that in Feudal Age. Oh, I did, but I did cancel it as well. Convert it! Shit. There is a monk up here. There was. He's probably moved it away at this point. Or is it still there, maybe? I don't even know anymore. Oh, it's still there. Thanks. Okay, we need to go imp. Mm. Not a huge fan of my position, he's imping for sure. And he's got an easier early imp transition than I do. And he has instant access to bomber cannons. But maybe I can do... Ventilations, castles, defense. For the opening. This is the toughest opponent you have faced over the years. For me, I think that will always be Leary. Historically speaking. It's fine. The question is just how much faster to imp is he? Kinda need a castle here as well to secure this gold. Lucky he was not up. That's actually gonna be extremely annoying. And I wish I kept my knights at home now, because then he couldn't have done this. Mm, it's gonna be a lot of idle time. That open. Nope. 
600 food. We can't do that. Like, stray bullets are actually hitting my villagers. Can't afford traps. So much idle time here. This is not a nice spot to be in. Like, I still definitely have equal lead. But it's how to deal with his composition. And it's his position. That is the issue. Maybe he will overcommit. Say goodbye to the polar bears. They're about to go go extinct. No gold in the corner. If he comes with a Ford castle, I will have to respond. Issue as well we have here is if he has demos, we can always run to the water. And my knights are slow AF. I'm gonna send my monks out to scout for demos. Yeah, I should make demos. This is really awkward. A really, really awkward situation. What? I don't have a choice. I have to go. I can't lose more ground than this. Still doesn't feel good. Oh, why are they on staying ground? No. I only have three stables. Still have health eco, but it's all about composition, right? What do we actually make here to stop this? Uh, next Warcraft 3 campaign. They should start trickling out over the next couple of days. I never did last armor! Okay, I'm gonna try to go Paladin, see what the, how well that does. Don't have high expectations. It's dropping a Ford cast now as well. We're off our main gold. There's the Ford castle. Onagers? What do I do against soon to be 14 range bomber cannons? Don't think onagers will do very well. The biggest issue here, first and foremost, was the lack of the last armor upgrade. If I had that, that fight would have been decisively better. But also, Teutons just lack, since their knights are slow as well, it makes it really hard to properly engage situations like this. Paladin is almost done. Oh, Crusader Cavaliers, let's go!
Let's go. The last huzzah. Paladin or good unit. We saved that castle actually. He has the hill there. Feels wrong to resign. I have a healthy pop. I have full paladin. We still have half the map. It's just I don't think I can ever take a proper engagement against that army. The funny thing is, if I had husbandry, that's why paladin often feels so bad with Putin's. If you have husbandry, you can maneuver so much better. To actually um, take fights against composition like that. Well, without Tuspenry, you just feel like everything goes so slow. Nah, Teuton skirmishes won't do anything. Try to sneak up there. Also, my triple stable opening in cast stage was a bit. Unnecessary. Maybe I should go. Try to mix in skirt. He can just nah. He can mix in hussar. Pointless. Need two on the pop. Need to snipe that. See how the score is still somewhat close. Despite the horrible fights we have taken. Genes feel like you actually bring grunts to the Middle Ages. Yes. Too bad those didn't go up. Yeah, look at it. I don't think he has that big of an eco. Full Teuton scouts, let's go. You have faith. Oh my god, the pathing. Why did they move so awkwardly? I think we're in a situation where we have to like force a fight. It's forced at this stage. I that was a decent trade, kind of, ish, <laughs> romantic outpost on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna get that castle, which is very nice. And I don't see any extra gold though on the bottom. Did you take one of my relics? No. Could still be a gold here, I guess. Yeah. 
Turks aren't great without gold, but there is another sieve that fits that criteria. Unfortunately, that's us. Just did university, what for? He's out on the water. Get it. Yes. Dude, that was also my gold. No. I think it's official. There is not gold left on this map. This is where he's just gonna make a sir. I've won 40 villagers. It's probably too much. so bad. <laughs> mm. More houses? Ah, it doesn't matter. It's too easy for him to play from here. Uh, for us, we would have to switch into like... He didn't even use this gold. We have to switch into halberdiers, and it will be such a long, hard-fought fight just to die in the end anyway. We do have two relics. Still not enough. Sorry? Did you close the door? Thank you. Um, yeah. Did I have 190 pop for the entire game? Well, I didn't feel like I was ever maxed out. Look at the eco difference, right? We're just missing... Uh, even now, we, we have like way more pop than him. We just don't have the composition at this stage, considering the position in the game. I didn't realize we were that far ahead economically. Wait, let me see. We actually have double his village account here. I didn't realize how low eco he went to imp with. If I knew how low... Or if I realized how low eco he had, I could have just sat back and waited. But then, actually, that, that makes sense, because I felt like our score was staying within his... within the range of his for way too long. But I think the biggest issue was the first fight we took. I could have just bided my time, gone paladin, gone for counterattacks, right? I could have sent all my 40 cavaliers over here, just go counterattack and just try to buy time here with whatever leftovers I have. But also the first fight as well, I didn't have the last armor upgrade. That was definitely painful. Actually, I didn't realize that we were this far ahead economically. It's all about the it's all about the position with Turks, especially against the civilization where. Like, it's also a Civ matchup, right? If I was a Civ that had Arbalest access, for example, he could not have done what he did. Because then he, uh, he wouldn't, uh, his fast imp wouldn't just straight up have killed me. Uh, as an example. He always died to low Ikoyanis. It depends on civilizations, right? Teutons don't have too much of an answer to, um, to his approach there. I think the answer would have been by time, keep the equal lead, take it from there. Yeah, Captram could have been great. Captram push on the other side. 
because I had the eco, right? Cap Ram, like, let's say I drop two siege workshops on the other side, I drop a castle there, and then I just send all my cavalier. They didn't even have to be paladin at that point. I could just break into his base and clean up his economy. And then I would out eco him in the long run. That's that's uh, That was a good strategic approach by him, though. It was a nice game. <laughs>